Okay, welcome to kitchen. Um, I'm going to show another entrepreneurial idea. Today we're going to show you how to make um, hamburger fries. Uh, you can use our local yam, tumba of yam to do it. So I have um, yam, about one pound of ground beef, ketchup, season, you can use any season of your choice. I have garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and tomatoes oil, of course. So, I'm going to make this video nice and short. I'm going to slice the yam and I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. You're still watching Framer Shows. Actually, I'm going to peel the skin and I'll be right back. Welcome back. Oh, I got my yams sliced. So, I'm going to cut them in a, a Cuba way. Watch how I cut it, okay? You don't have to cut it like I'm doing mine. You can just do it anything. But this is kind of entrepreneurial idea. You want to establish business. You want it to be nice in a bigger way. You can also cut in very small sizes like french fry if you want. But remember, this is yam. So if it is too thin, it may end up... Um, getting burned or bitter so rather cut into a little bit bigger sizes like I'm doing all right so if you're a graduate out there or you can just do this to make a living okay I've seen a lot of people that I taught them how to fry things I mean fry things and how to make bread and today they are making a living okay okay all right so i'm gonna leave the rest i think i have enough okay this is how much i have that's enough so i'm going to put in a dry um paper towel for it to dry it needs to be dry before you start frying it, okay? To make sure it's nice and dry. You can um, sprinkle it with a little bit of salt or wash with a little, a little bit of salt. Okay, now that I have it here. All right, so I'm going to sprinkle with a little bit of salt just for flavor don't add it too much though you can also leave it and sprinkle the salt on top of it when it's done okay it depends let me taste it oh nice all right i like the way it tastes so i'm going to leave it to dry and uh, we're going to fly it so tasty don't go nowhere you're watching free shows our yam is nice and dry, so we are going to add it to oil. Right. Um, put it into low heat, okay? Don't, because it needs to be cooked and before it fried. So put it into low heat. Allow it to cook. I like mine to be nice and brown and crunchy. So you also do the same. All right. Okay, stay tuned, don't go nowhere. I'll show you how it looks. But for now, we are just frying it. And very soon, we're gonna work on a hamburger. Once it's in, you can stir it to make sure that all, every part is getting fried. Remember, it's yam, not potatoes. So it need a slow cook. Just put in a low heat as much as you can so that it can be cooked and fried, okay? All right, stay tuned, don't go nowhere. We are going to work on our hamburger very soon. You're watching Frema Shows, number one cooker. <laughs> You're number one chef. <laughs> this is how it looks so far. It's getting brown, the golden brown. So I'm going to switch the banner so we can set our hamburger without taking too much time. So let me switch the banner. All right. For the hamburger, I'm going to put a little bit of oil into the pan. 
allow the oil to warm up a little bit okay all right our pan is nice and warm so first i'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of black pepper this is black pepper okay just a little bit you can add more if you want to a little bit of garlic pepper and pop uh what do you call it onion pepper onion powder sorry and i have a season you can use any season of your choice so i'm gonna add a little bit of goya season just to give it a flavor remember hamburger has no nothing it has no flavor so this season is going to i mean seasoning sorry it's going to give it a flavor all right now that we're done coating when we put in the pan we're going to coat the other side as well so let's go to the pan all right so i'm going to put the first side that i coated into the pan all right okay and we are going to do the same thing as we did in the other side sprinkle a little bit of black pepper garlic powder onion powder and some of the seasoning remember the season has told you a minute so I'm not going to add um, any salt into it now that's it how do you want your burger if you want it to be medium you have to make it the pan hard, I mean the fire higher so that it will burn the outside urges and the inside will be medium rare. If you don't want it well done, you need to lower the heat so that it can be well cooked. So stay tuned, don't go nowhere. I'll show you when I'm flipping it around so you know how it looks. The fried is also fried and turning brown, so very soon I'm going to take them out. So stay tuned, don't go nowhere. It's been a few minutes, so I'm going to, this is how bigger looks. I'm going to flip it and turn it around. Wow. Like I said, depend on how you want your burger. I want mine to be medium well, so I bend outside and the edges, and the inside will be nice and juicy. Stay tuned, don't go nowhere. You're watching Prima Shows, your number one chef. It will be nice if you're going to have it with tomatoes, because it always goes nowhere. With it, so I'm going to start. This is the tomato knife that is sliced tomatoes nicely. Beautiful! Wow, all right. So, I'm going to put the tomatoes into my plate, and this is how I'm gonna go about it. Nice and beautiful, isn't it? Okay, our fries is nice and brown as I wanted it, so I'm going to take them out. From the oil I'm going to use the paper towel to drain it okay so that it will not be too greasy if you have um, if you are you can use um, a drainer to do it if it's a lot yeah, you don't basically need a paper towel for a commercial one this is just a, a homemade stuff so all right let me turn the banner off I'm going to use it to you see clean it up a little bit and put my fries right here all right it's nice crunchy wow i can't wait to have it. you can have it for lunch you can have it for dinner all right this is how it looks let me clean up and i'll be right back the food is ready all right i'm gonna take my fry and dish put it right here and you can also put let me bring it right here see how it looks just put a ketchup on this side Ooh, I love to cook my name is Remain Freeman Shows I thought you had to make yam from to becoming fries and hamburger you want to be entrepreneur you want to open your own business this is a very good business idea that you can make very cheap and make good money out of it. 
I do want to thank you for watching. The name is the Remain Famous Show. Say, don't forget to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Bye-bye.